Hello, this is Mr. Buffington, and today we are going to solve for x when we're adding positive and negative decimals. So our first equation is going to look like this, 4.7 plus x equals 7.2. With all equations, we're trying to find what is our value for our variable. And to do that, we need to follow these same three steps. We need to find our variable. Where is the variable in this equation? It's right there. Our variable is the letter. So I'm going to write that down over here. X is our variable. Now we have to ask ourselves what happened to that variable or what's connected to the variable. In this case, all of this happened. We added 4.7. So I'm going to write that in there, plus 4.7. And so we are now going to do the inverse or the opposite. So we're going to subtract 4.7. And to keep it balanced, we have to subtract 4.7 from both sides of this equation. 4.7 minus 4.7 leaves x by itself on the left side of the equation. And 7.2 minus 4.7 gives us 2.5. All right, so that's how we would solve that type of equation. Take a look at that. As we're going through these, we also want to make sure that you're checking your work and also practicing on your own. So when you see a question come up, you can go ahead and pause the recording, try and solve it on your own. Here's the next question. X minus 1.3 is equal to 6.4. You can pause the recording and try and solve this one on your own. Here are the steps that you should follow. First off, you're going to find the variable x. What happened to the variable or what is connected to it? We are subtracting 1.3. So we're going to do the inverse or the opposite, which is to add 1.3. We have to do that to both sides of the equation to keep it nice and balanced. So we have 1.3 being added to both sides. Negative or minus 1.3 plus 1.3 leaves us with x by itself on the left side of the equation. And 6.4 plus 1.3 gives us 7.7 .7 as our final answer, x is equal to 7.7. .7. For our last question, it's going to look a little bit more complicated. All right, let's be honest, it's going to look a lot more complicated. This looks terrible, but we're going to follow the same exact steps. Try and pause the recording and see if you can solve it. Our variable is the letter A. What happened to this variable or what's connected to it is that we are subtracting negative 4.81. To do the inverse or the opposite to both sides of the equation, we are going to add negative 4.81. All right? That's what we're going to do. We don't it's not as complicated as you might think. We're going to follow exactly the same steps as we've done in the past. So let's do it. We're going to add negative 4.81 minus negative 4.81 plus negative 4.81 cancel each other out on the left side of the equation, leaving us with a by itself. On the right side of the equation, we had 12.26 and we added negative 4.81. The rules for adding positive and negative decimals say if the signs are different, we have a positive 12.26 and a negative 4.81. When the signs are different, we find the difference between them. So in other words, we're subtracting. And 12.26 minus 4.81 leaves us with 7.45. And the answer is going to be positive because 12.26 is our larger positive number. If you need a review on the rules for adding positive and negative numbers, please check out the mini lesson that is dedicated completely to showing those rules. I'll put the link in, in the uh, comments and the description. All right, so there's two things to keep in mind when you're solving for x with addition of positive decimal equations. One, you have to sol remember the rules for solving equations. Find the variable, say what happened or what's connected to it, and then do the inverse to both sides of the equation. Also remember the rules for adding integers. If the signs are the same, you find the sum. If the signs are different, you find the difference. And again, for a full video on how to solve adding integer questions, 
please go ahead and, and check that mini lesson out um, in the playlist for pre-algebra or also just looking at the uploads from this course. I'll include the link below as well. Hope that lesson was helpful for you. Have a wonderful day.